Well, praise the Lord. It's really good to be here in God's presence tonight. And I just want to share something with you tonight. It's very simple, but it's, it will be very effective if we are prepared to listen and to hide this word in our heart. And not only to hear it, but to put it into practice. Because God says in his word, don't be just hearers of the word, but be doers of the word. Because if we're doers of the word, God will bless us. God will prosper us. And um, that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's about relationship with God. So it's not just hearing, it's doing. Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. You will obey my teachings. You will obey my instruction. And uh, at times when he corrects us, we will obey that and we will uh, listen and um, do what he tells us to do. This is very important. And, uh, and so... I just want to uh, read a few words to you now, which are beautiful words. It's a song, actually, but they're from, it's from Scripture. And it's called, My Soul Finds Rest. My soul finds rest in God alone. He only is my salvation. My rock, my peace my fortress strong i will ever love and adore him great love of god jesus his name he only is my foundation and on the cross he bled and he died and he took my sorrows forever and i will praise him whatever so we want to always love and adore our saviour don't we and yet there are so many christians today they want to be right with god but they're not prepared to do what the bible tells them to do to live a healthy spiritual life and to be in spiritual relationship with god you see because we can just be in relationship in the way that we see it and it's all from our heads instead of our hearts you see but god is spirit and our relationship with God is not only, it's in, it should be a spiritual relationship where our spirits are clean and right in his sight because that is the place where the spirit of Christ dwells within us. That is where God communicates with us. That is where faith is imparted to us from God. That is where our faith grows when we start to spend time reading the word and praying every day and feeding our faith and building up our faith. And then what happens is when we read the Bible daily, we start to renew our minds as well. And so what happens is our spirit is then uh, in communication with our mind and relationship with our mind the, the two are working together as one but for many christians today it's all uh, what they think their relationship with god is in the heads and it's all mental ascent instead of a spiritual relationship and uh, that becomes hard because then we're not walking in the spirit but in the flesh and that is a hard thing. We need to start to learn to walk in the Spirit. Now, we can't possibly walk in the Spirit if we're living a double life. And we've got double standards. Now, Jesus set one standard, and that's found in the Bible. And I just want to bring a scripture to you tonight. If you want to enjoy that which I was speaking about tonight from this song, about um, Jesus being our rock and our peace and our fortress strong, and that we'll ever love and adore him, if we really mean that, and we talk about the great love of God, and we want to experience the love of God for ourselves, then we really need to clean up our acts, some of us. Because, you know, I often compare our spirits like wells. Wells that have living water running out of them. It's all clean inside, and you can drink from that clean living water, the water of life, the water of God. But sometimes, you know, our practices um, don't help that well. It's like, some of the things we practice are foreign to the Bible, to the Word of God, and they're not good practice, and they're anti-Christ, anti-God, and God doesn't like them, and yet we continue to do them. And each time we do them, it's like throwing dirt down that well and all rubbish and everything else until it becomes cluttered and clogged, and that well, which is our spirit, then is separated from God. And then we, what we do, we end up just giving God mental assent. It's all in our heads, our relationship with God, as we think it is. It's not really a relationship because God looks at the heart, 
not on the outward appearance, which is the head, and the outward appearance of man and all the image of man that he portrays and so on. And so it's very important to keep our spirits in relationship with God and to keep our wells clean. Now look, there are many Christians today that are looking at things they shouldn't be looking at. We know the world do it and it becomes a habit, pornography and lots of other sexual perversions and lots of other stuff we shouldn't be looking at um, on the internet and on the TV and in magazines and so on and certain things, well there's so too many to mention in this vile world that we're living in. But God wants his people to be holy. Now that's not some sanctimonious rubbish word. What it simply means is to be set apart unto God so that we're in relationship with God. Now if we're in relationship with God, God is a holy God and uh, we won't want to do the things that displease God. Now there's a scripture verse here, Psalm 101, it's part of verse 3, the beginning of that verse. I will set before my eyes no vile thing. Now as I'm speaking this word to you, you know very well that you set vile things before your eyes. You're looking at stuff on the internet and in the, on the TV and magazines that you shouldn't be looking at. And it's become a habit, it's taken over. You're opening yourself up to demonization and to spirits taking over. And to, uh, basically they, they will put you into a habit that you can't break free from and you're in bondage to sexual perversion and looking at... Uh, stuff that you know is wrong if you're born again inside the spirit of god told you in the beginning it was wrong but you kept doing it and before and what you did you clustered up your well and you separated yourself from god basically you can clean your well up but what we need to do is pray tonight and if you're listening to me now and you're convicted by this and you know god is speaking to you and you want to be right with god don't give up People do this to get into the habit and then become bound back. You're in bondage and you need setting free. Now, this is what I'm here for tonight, to help you to be set free. Now, let's pray. Come before God and I want you to pray with me. I want you to speak to God and mean it. Let's pray now together. You say this prayer to God with me, but you're talking to God, not to me. I'm not the priest in the Catholic Church. You're talking to God. You don't come through me to God. You come through Jesus. Right, let's pray. Lord, I know that I'm sinning by looking at all this perverted stuff and pornography on the internet and all the other things you shouldn't be looking at. I know it's wrong, but I'm bound by it. I really want you to set me free and forgive me. So Lord, please forgive me and come into my life now and wash me clean from it or wash my mind clean from it in the name of Jesus Christ and set me free and fill me with the Holy Spirit and cover me with the blood of Jesus and the helmet of salvation and the arm of God. Now, I just want to pray for you now. You prayed that prayer. I rebuke you, Satan, and all your afflicting spirits and all your pornography and all your perverted spirits from that person's mind that's listening now. And I rebuke you out of that person's mind now and life, Satan, you works in demon power and out of the life. Get out in Jesus Christ, I'm on your demon powers now and all your perverted spirits. Out in Jesus Christ's name. And I cut you off, bind you up close, lock the door in your face, and it's coming back to them again in Jesus Christ's name. And I'll loose out the blood of Christ into your mind now. Wash it clean all the darkness out into your mind. And I cover your mind with the blood of Jesus. And I put the helmet of salvation and the armor of God upon you now. Now what I want you to do now is serve God. And don't go back to those things. I close and lock the door to you going back to those things. Walk with Jesus in the spirit. And learn to be a spiritual person that walks in the spirit, not in the flesh. Thank you for listening tonight. Mm -hmm.